Hey everyone, today I'm going to tell you guys something about the settings of the MAG 241C. First of all, if you mess something up in the settings and don't know how to undo it, I'll show you how to reset the monitor later on. I'll first go over what most of the settings do, as some might be confusing. First of all, to open the OSD, which sends for on screen display, you have to push down on the joystick on the back of the monitor. First, you'll see some presets under the tab game mode. The user preset is actually your custom settings. If you select this mode, you'll have all your custom settings. Under that, you have the FPS preset. This preset gives you the highest response time, turns all the colors a little bit gray, and lowers the brightness. The other presets are for racing games, real-time strategy games, and role-playing games. Underneath game mode, you have the tab Black Tuner. This changes the deepness of the blacks. The lower, the blacker the blacks will be. You'll have to find out yourself what you like best, as it's personal preference. I like to put it on 8. Go on another tab, and you'll find the response time setting. On default, it's on normal, but for fast-paced games, I recommend the fastest setting. Um. Enabling the fastest setting will lower the brightness though, but I don't see any problems in that. It will also enable anti-motion blur. If you don't know what anti-motion blur is, I'll leave a link for a video in the description. Another one lower, there will be a tab called refresh rate. Here, you cannot change the refresh rate, but you can turn on or off a refresh rate counter. I find this to be useless and distracting, so I don't have it enabled. The alarm clock settings speak for itself. It's an alarm clock. A little lower, you'll have a tab called screen assistance. I don't know why it's called screen assistance though, since they're basically just oversized crosshairs. I don't see any value in this, except maybe if the game you're playing doesn't have a crosshair for some reason, while you actually do need it. Weird setting, and I don't see the value in it. On the bottom, you'll find a setting called FreeSync. Turning on FreeSync will eliminate screen tearing, like this. Um. But the FreeSync option will only work if you have an AMD video card, because it's made by AMD. Now, if you go to the Professional tab, you will find some settings that might be useful. Here you can find an eye saver, which lowers the blue light emittance of the monitor. Blue light can cause eye strain if you're looking at it for too long. Also, it prevents you from getting sleepy. So it's recommended to turn this on if you're using the monitor before bedtime. You'll also find a tab called HDCR. Turning this on will enable your monitor to display more different colors. This is useful when, for example, editing a video. Or if you want to look at an HDR video. There's also a tab called Image Enhancement. I don't know the exact meaning of this, but it changes the look of the stars in the background a little bit. I've turned this off as I don't see much value in it. Now you have the tab called Image. Under this tab you can change things like brightness, contrast, sharpness, color temperature and screen size. These are all personal settings and they should be adjusted according to your own preference. They won't make a difference in the performance of the monitor. Input source depends on what cable you're using. I use a DisplayPort cable, so I put it on DP. To plug in a DisplayPort may require some force, so if the monitor doesn't pick up the signal, look at the cable and see if it's inserted properly. The navigation key setting on my monitor remains untouched, but you can change what the joystick directions will be binded to if you want to. Under the setting tab, you'll be able to change the language if you want, the transparency of the OSD, and the timeout timer of the OSD. Here you will also find a reset option, so if you messed something up, and you don't know how to undo it, you can select the reset option and then click select yes. Those were the important settings of the monitor. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments down below. Also, check in the description if you can find the answer over there, as I'll add all my answers to the description. Thanks for watching, and you'll see me in the next one. By the way guys, I just wanted to show you this little bug I found. Like, when it's on, and then it suddenly, like, you know, when I go away to eat or something, then... It goes into like screensaver or something. I don't know. It turns off, you know, that's good. But then like when I touch my keyboard or anything, it goes back on and then I get this. Well, it's not like it's annoying, but diff like easy way to fix it. Just turn off the monitor, turn it on again, and then it's fixed. But just curious if you guys have the same problem. Maybe it's just mine, but yeah, please let me know.